Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shruti Nandan Dotto and in this video lecture, I'll talk about uh, the practical exercise of uh, population dynamics. So, as we have already uh, done this thing in uh, FISAT software and now I'll uh, give you some uh, tips and some uh, population dynamic parameter, how to do this population dynamic parameter in Excel manually. Okay, so here we'll estimate it one by one and uh, uh, we'll also show the uh, MSY or maximum sustainable yield okay so first uh, oh, I have already talked about it that uh, before going to any population dynamic parameter you required uh, the L infinitive or the asymptotic length and uh, population growth uh, constant that is the K so these uh, two parameter are used basically all those uh, population parameter are estimated uh, uh, length based data okay so these two parameter are uh, basic requirement to estimate the other parameter okay so first uh, we'll uh, have how to calculate uh, these two things so there is a uh, lots of techniques to calculate uh, the L infinitive and the K uh, it could be you can calculate it from the length frequency data you can calculate it from the uh, length uh, data from this year and length data from the next year so that is uh, the technique uh, given by the Ford and what Walford plot it is called Ford, Ford and Walford plot here um, it's given the length of this year you measured uh, the length of a uh, few fish uh, species a uh, particular species a uh, length of uh, individual of this year and you measure the length of that same uh, individual in the next year okay so that is a technique you can use uh, the mercury capture technique you can use for this one so you captured a few fish and uh, take the measure of this piece and uh, mark it and recapture next year and measure their length for the next year then you plot uh, the LT or length of this year and you plot the length of next year okay then uh, after getting this plot you can estimate uh, the slope and intercept so it's uh, basically a simple linear uh, model it's simply a uh, linear scatter plot or linear regression then you plot uh, this thing and you calculate the slope and intercept and this slope and intercept will help you to calculate the L and K. So here uh, the equation is uh, K is equal to minus ln of uh, in, uh, slope and uh, L infinitive is uh, intercept uh, by 1 minus slope. And uh, from uh, this equation, we can calculate it, uh, the growth coefficient here. It's uh, 0 0.152 and L infinitive means asymptotic length is 185. Okay, so uh, that the same thing we, we will do here and with our uh, with our data. And uh, here uh, of a few length data we have and we have the length data of the next year. And uh, then we calculate it, uh, we plot the L1 and LT and LT plus 1 and we can calculate the k and l infinity from the slope and intercept okay so here uh, the species uh, uh, sudden uh, we take and we uh, plot uh, this uh, length and we calculated the l infinity again then uh, there is also different technique to calculate them different equation different uh, scientists given uh, them to calculate uh, those two parameter like uh, Randall uh, is uh, very simply he gives uh, to calculate the l infinity that you put the l maximum means uh, from this uh, length data of you have you measured the which one is the maximum from your uh, lead data and by 0 0.95 so it's approximately gives you uh, the L infinitive data so here uh, this uh, data is maximum data is uh, maximum length is 170 so we will put uh, 170 by 0 0.95 so from this you can calculate uh, the L infinitive very easily okay so we got this uh, two parameter then we will we'll check uh, the mortality mortality is also important very important parameter as i uh, already talked about it and we have three types of mortality the total mortality and the fishing mortality and natural mortality and from this mortality you can calculate the exploitation rate and that exploitation rate gives you that whether uh, the stock uh, is over exploited or not if the exploitation rate is greater than 0.05 
then it's uh, over exploited okay so uh, we'll check uh, the equation for the calculation of total mortality the equation is uh, z is equal to k into l infinity minus l bar so l bar is the mean length of with the population uh, by l bar uh, uh, minus l dash also that l dash is uh, the length at, at the first capture or it's represent the mill length of uh, the fish when you entering into the fishery so you start your uh, fishing season this year and when uh, you enter into the fisheries first then what is the mill length of the first year okay first month or first whenever entering with the fish that is also called the length at first capture so that is uh, the data is required then you can easily calculate uh, by putting uh, those parameter into this equation and you calculate the total mortality here uh, we have calculated the total mortality of uh, this species is uh, 2.370 and uh, from uh, then you uh, calculate the natural mortality as i already talked about it the natural mortality is calculated from the uh, pauli's empirical equation and uh, pauli's empirical equation is uh, this one and here main important parameter is the t t is the mean habitat temperature okay so you i put uh, the mean habitat temperature of your particular region where you collect your fish so mean habitat temperature is required to calculate the natural mortality then you put this uh, equation uh, you put the equation here i have put the equation and you calculate the mean uh, uh, habitat uh, putting the mean habitat temperature you calculate the natural mortality and uh, you check this one uh, so this is the natural mortality equation and uh, next uh, you have to calculate the fishing mortality so here natural mortality is 0 0.8 and fishing mortality is very simple it's a uh, fishing mortality is equal to z minus m means your uh, total mortality minus the natural mortality very uh, um, by uh, easily you can calculate the physical mortality and exploitation rate and exploitation rate is uh, e is equal to f by z means uh, physical mortality by total mortality okay so physical mortality by total mortality you can calculate the exploitation rate here exploitation rate is 0 0.6 so that is greater than 0.5 so easily you can tell that the stock is over exploited and uh, one another way you can talk uh, you can tell that uh, if your physical mortality is much more uh, better than I mean greater than the natural mortality then you can also call that the stock is over exploited okay so that's all about uh, the mortality next we'll uh, see uh, the length and weight at a different age okay so you are putting a different age uh, starting from 0 to 5 years and we'll check the in different age how the length and how the weight is varies in this particular species so for that you require the l infinitive data for the length and weight infinitive data for the weight weight infinitive is very easily you can calculate like the l infinitive and you require the k value the growth coefficient and you require the t0 t0 is the age at the length zero so means uh, it's it's before starting the population or before giving the birth uh, or the spawning or hatchling the what is uh, the, it's basically that uh, easily calculated from this equation t0 t0 is equal to this uh, l infinitive you can calculate the l infinitive and k and you can easily calculate the t0 basically t0 is always a minus value or you can put the t0 0 that is also not a problem okay then you time means uh, i have checked uh, the age 0 to 5 years and uh, then you uh, calculate uh, the l infinitive uh, means uh, l uh, at time t and uh, weight at time t by the from the von bertelum fly growth equation the equation is lt is is equal to l infinity into 1 minus e to the power minus k into t minus t0 so from putting uh, this equation uh, from putting this uh, equation like weight weight infinity in uh, o means weight at time t is the equation is the same so uh, you put uh, the weight and you calculate it uh, the weight at time t and also the same way you scroll down and length you putting this equation and you can calculate the length at time t and then you plot uh, this length and weight at time t0 so you three you plot and you can get that in different age how your length is varies and how your weight is varies okay so that all about the how uh, your length and weight at different age
Next is the uh, probability of survival. Uh, as uh, I have already talked about it, if you have uh, the fishing or you, if you don't have the fishing, means with fishing means is the fishing mortality, and without fishing means the fish die due to the old age because or different diseases that the natural mortality. Okay, so at different age, uh, you, if you plot uh, the probability of survival, if if there is fishing and if there is not fishing, so uh, probability of survival for with fishing the equation is nothing but simply exponential of minus fishing mortality into time t so you have plot the time t uh, time 0 to time 5 years and uh, you have to need the m value the natural mortality value you have need the fishing mortality value and then by putting this very simple equation exponential uh, minus f into t you can calculate the fishing mortality and natural mortality then uh, this fishing mortality and natural mortality and uh, instead of time you plot okay then you can check the if uh, I have talked about it that uh, the small pelagic don't die due to the old age they are basically die due to the fishing pressure okay if you if there is no fishing if there is no fishing without fishing the fish is uh, live their old age means uh, fish are die at the age of high okay but if there is fishing due to the fishing fish uh, will die at the age of uh, three okay so so they are early they are die uh, they cannot grow uh, the whole age um, it's, it's due to fishing pressure so it's a probability of survival is reduced uh, with fishing uh, with fishing it's uh, uh, at uh, age three years and um, it's a probability of survival it's uh, it's uh, in with fishing means without fishing in natural mortality population it could be five or what is its uh, natural uh, means uh, mortality uh, rate and uh, we can uh, check the lifespan also okay so that is uh, all about uh, the probability of survival. Then we will check uh, the Y by R and B by R. How to calculate the yield per recruitment and biomass per recruitment. For this, you have required a uh, few lots of the data. That so you have required this uh, this parameter. You required K. K we know the growth coefficient, and you required the natural mortality. Then you have to make uh, the M by K M by K ratio. You required the LC LC is the same thing. You required for the jet and that the uh, length that the first captured and l infinity we know and you require the u u is uh, the exponential factor that is uh, basically exploitation factor it's uh, nothing but is 1 minus g1 by g2 means 1 minus l infinity by uh, means lc by l infinity uh, you remember in uh, the preceding lecture uh, we plot the exploitation in uh, terms of lc by l infinity okay in fisher software uh, so that is required and uh, you have to uh, require z you have to plot the jet because uh, we are plotting the y by r and b by r instead of uh, different fishing mortality rate and also different exploitation rate as we know that exploitation rate is belongs to 0 to 1 and fishing mortality rate could be um, 0 to 10 no problem okay and uh, so fishing mortality if uh, uh, we are um, giving it so 0 0.1 to starting and we are making up to 10 okay and uh, jet uh, we know that z is equal to your fishing mortality plus your natural mortality okay so you are giving this physical mortality and you are uh, giving uh, the natural mortality fixed e uh, to that is fixing that we are putting dollar and putting z is we are getting that at in respect of this physical mortality what will be the total mortality okay so in respect to this physical mortality what will be the exploitation rate is also because exploitation rate is equal to your physical mortality by your total mortality okay so in this uh, physical mortality what will be your exploitation rate okay if your physical mortality is 1 then your exploitation rate is 0 0.55 okay so that is uh, the your square down and then you required uh, the m m is a one uh, important parameter uh, so m is nothing but uh, is 1 minus uh, d6 means 1 minus uh, you have required the exploitation 1 minus exploitation by uh, your e3 e3 is the m by k ratio so that is also one factor that you can check uh, the y by r equation if you check the y by r equation it's uh, everywhere m is required so m m is nothing but one minus exploitation by uh, your m by k ratio okay so uh, that y by r uh, uh, equation is e into uh, e into u u is uh, uh, the two point uh, means u is lc by l infinity 
we know this one and then you we this factor from this uh, within second bracket so 1 minus 3 u so this this i have calculated it separately it's as a factor so this factor is 1 minus this whole equation 1 minus 3 u uh, by 1 plus m 1 plus m plus 1 uh, plus 3 u square so uh, whole uh, this we i have calculated this as a factor okay and uh, y by r is equal to um, along this with this factor so y by r is equal to uh, this factor into e into uh, u to the power m by k so by putting this very simply we are making uh, uh, to break it to make it easily and uh, so after that you scroll down and each and every physical modality uh, value you can also calculate the y by r and also in different exploitation you also calculate the y by r and b by r is a very simple b by r is equal to y by r by f so y by r whatever you calculated y by r by f a uh, physical modality so it's y by r means uh, your g6 by your b6 so it's very easily you can calculate the p by r so you are uh, after getting this y by r and b by r you plot in against the physical modality as you i have talked about it that if you increase your yield uh, yield per recruitment yield if you increase your yield always your biomass will be going down okay because you are exploiting more from the system so your biomass going down okay so as the same way you are if you exploitation if you increasing your exploitation rate your yield is increasing but your biomass is going down okay so that is a very simple uh, relation between y by r and b by r so easily you can calculate and you can plot a uh, very good graph from uh, this uh, plotting this equation now check the lifespan lifespan is a very simple equation you required uh, the t0 i have uh, talked about it in t0 the equation t0 and uh, t0 and you required k and uh, that's a very simple equation lifespan is equal to 3 by uh, k plus t0 and by putting this thing you know we got uh, the lifespan of this species is almost six years okay so it's a very simple thing and uh, you can calculate the maturity age means at which age the fish is matured for the spawning or reproduction so maturity is is uh, this equation is estimated or given by uh, Richter and Efnoff in 1977 the equation is very simple it's a two factor uh, two values it means 0.15 and the constant values and you require the natural mortality data only so by putting the natural mortality in this equation you easily calculate the maturity age so for this this is for this data the natural uh, sorry natural age at maturity natural maturity is 1.1 year when after 1.1 year one year one month the fish is matured for the spawning or reproduction matured okay and then uh, we can calculate uh, the msy finally okay msy so we required to calculate the maximum sustainable yield for length based data or length frequency analysis you can calculate very easily and you require the physical mortality data you require the total mortality data and you have required the u you uh, here is the exploitation unit for the calculate this thing and so u is f by z into uh, 1 minus exponential of minus z okay from explore uh, that uh, you calculate uh, 0 0.588 and annual catch annual catch is the data that you are uh, taking from the fisheries department oh, what is the catch of this particular species is this year okay so you can take uh, this data from the fisheries department or uh, your different sources so this year the catch of this particular species is almost 18,000 ton and then you calculate the annual stock what is the stock is available on that particular region if the stock is uh, y by u means uh, that factor exploitation factor and u y means like annual catch by this factor so here uh, this stock of this particular year in this particular region in this particular year is the 30,000 ton and standing stock is very easy is y means annual catch by fishing mortality so standing stock you can calculate the standing stock and then you can calculate the msy msy is nothing but z is the total mortality into 0 0.5 it's an factor into the standing uh, stock 
and by putting uh, this uh, values you calculate and the msy is 13000 ton and if you check uh, the msy is 13000 ton but your annual catch is 18000 ton so easily you can uh, also tell that the fish is uh, this year uh, fish is also over exploited because your msy is 18 uh, 13000 ton but you are exploiting almost 18000 ton so it's beyond the uh, msy okay so i uh, you have already checked this uh, curve Okay, so this uh, all about uh, the population dynamic parameter easily you can calculate from putting uh, this equation in Excel. Okay, that all about it. Okay, thank you.